Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So this is your pick uh, that Trump, Donald Trump made or somebody made for Donald Trump, maybe is a better way to actually put it. U.S. Senator from Ohio, J.D. Vance, who is an author. He's also somebody that's graduated from Yale. Um, I I haven't seen whether or not he is part of the Skull and Bones. Uh, again, you know, what can you say? Well, the interesting thing is, you know, Cindy didn't know who he is. And when I was showing uh, her a picture of him, she said, oh, yeah, that looks like the guy from four years ago when the guide said uh, it's going to look like Trump is gone, but he's not. But then she saw a different person in power that was younger, brownish hair, very blue eyes, uh, and, you know, full face. And so I'll just let her speak. Well, yeah, I mean, this this is the guy I believe that I saw years ago um, when everything was happening with Trump, Trump and blah, 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 blah. But this guy... You know, I don't know. I hope nothing bad happens to anyone ever. I, I wish no one any doom or gloom. But I f think this was the guy that I saw in charge at that time. So, again, this will be something in the future. Is we'll have to watch it, watch it unfold. I want to say uh, this was a r September of 2020 is when I think that that happened. Uh, so again, this is how timelines and things work. Uh, you know, we were wondering, everybody's wondering after the election when, when Biden got in, if he was going to really be in and is there going to be, you know, something that happens and he's not going to get inaugurated. And then, you know, is he going to be forced out, you know, three months, six months, a year later, two years later, here we are in our election cycle. But this does look... <laughs> like the person she saw actually in charge uh, and acting as president. So now, does that mean that this is your winning ticket? Um, perhaps, yeah, at least in one timeline, yeah, this is probably the winning ticket. Um, or at least part of the country maybe will be under control of this ticket. You know, there, there, there's so many different things that can happen out there. And when you're doing remote viewing, when you're, when you're getting these channeled messages, um, things come in bits and pieces. And so, you know, putting together the bigger picture and seeing all the details and then also divergent timelines is something that more people understand now probably didn't he probably didn't have hardly anybody understanding that 10 years ago no no i mean we're getting there people are understanding and waking up um more and more and more every day which i love to see you know it's like one day you might know and have a friend who's asleep and boom the next day they're starting to say how they think the mainstream is all just one big joke and there you go you have somebody that's woken up and those of you that do have energy and understand the power in it just keep sending it out there that more and more people are going to wake up and the more the merrier absolutely so you know again uh, is this going to be a real popular choice just glancing out there as you see a picture of uh, jd vance a young jd vance you know, former military, as we said, he is an author. It, it feels like those that are in the political system are okay with this. Here you have Charlie Kirk. Great choice. Yeah, let's win this thing. And then you have other people that are, you know, like, ah, uh, this is boring. This is dull. No, no, no. So, you know, we'll have to see how this shakes out. Uh, obviously, w would you say this is a safe choice? Perhaps, maybe not. Uh, as you see here on Fox News, uh, you can see this quote. He said he was never a Trump guy, never liked him, terrible candidate, idiot if you voted for him. So what, what made him change his mind? Uh, VP slot, which will come with more fame and money. And yeah, what is the context right. to 
you know, what can you say? Really, the problem is that people in power in a very, very corrupt, dark system like we've had for, you know, thousands of years in reality, thousands of years, it's not going to really, it's not going to draw your saints. That's for sure. It's going to draw people with egos, people with a lust for power, a lust for uh, things, etc., etc. So, here you go. We'll see how this rolls, but it is interesting that he is, um, he he looks like the guy that Cindy saw four years ago uh, that would be in charge of at least a portion of the country. Yeah, that's what I saw. Somebody, you know, in, in military uniform, uh, like brown hair, but it was the eyes. The eyes are what really stuck out. Those really, and he does have super bright blue eyes. They're like beaming. So we'll have to see what comes of it. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, again, uh, Trump names Senator J.D. Vance as VP. Interesting times to say the least. Uh, this is Ann Vandersteel, who is a information war correspondent she has 243,000 followers on on twitter uh this is a tweet from the white house on the mem it's a memorandum on delegation of functions and authorities under sections 1333 that's an interesting number 1342 yeah, i think it was 1350 uh 52 which these these explain what these are. Now, I've had a little bit of college level law, and it was the worst thing I've ever gone through. <laughs> I hate law. I hate law. I mean, it's to me, this is so draconian. So if anybody else wants to go deeper into this, um, what we see here is just basically it says, you know, I, Joe Biden, president, da, da, da. By the authority vested in me as president of the Constitution and the laws of the United States, including Section 301 of Title III, hereby delegate to the Secretary of Defense in consultation with the Secretary of Energy functions and authorities invested in the President, Section 1352 of National Defense Authorization Act for the fiscal year 2024. And it goes on. And so it's, it's, it's like the powers that he has he is passing on to the Secretary of Defense, Secretary of State, Secretary of Energy. Um, is this what you would normally do and, and write uh, a, a memorandum as with the bill that passed? Because this is about the bill that passed. Uh, this is about the bill that really made it so automatically everybody that's 18 to 26 is registered for the draft. So, you know, is this just simply conver conferring his power as president down to these different individuals um, in case he's no longer president? Uh, that's kind of what I'm getting from uh, Ann Vandersteel. As she says, this is a consolidation under the continuity of government. I suspect a national emergency and lockdown to follow. They know they are losing. Or is this something that's done uh, to just simply um, transfer everything that is in that bill uh, that power-wise goes to him down the line, so to speak, so that you know the Secretary of Defense will make all the decisions of a discretionary nature when it comes to you know the purchases of, of military hardware equipment, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's what I'm wondering. You know, is is that just typical language or is this language not typical um you know uh, anybody else that wants to share what you guys know uh it's interesting you know again u.s british admiralty maritime law is what we're under we're still under you know basically the whole system of god save the king and queen nothing has ever really changed and and that's that's really important the words change and so this is all about amending a, sec a section to substituting suitors for libelant or petitioner to conform to the language of law in existence at the enactment of the revision as this was originally pushed through in 1949 
this particular um, amendment, the words change. What we use, the language changes over time. This is just basically this particular 1333 is, is to make things a little bit more up to date, so to speak. Not that anybody that's not a lawyer is really going to get this or at least, uh, you know, maybe as a minor in law or something. Uh, limitation on voluntary services as well. So it, it does feel that this has to do with, um, again, a transfer of power, perhaps, you know, in uh, certain uh, scenarios, maybe wartime or insurrection related. Again, I'm looking for help out there from anybody that has studied this deeper. But it, it does feel, again, uh, that we've seen things like this and people have made you know big to-dos about it. But then at the same time, they have put into effect things, laws. There are laws, executive orders have gone into effect that they can take any of our property if they deem it's a national emergency and they need that property. Not only that, but they could put any of us into work groups and they could force us to work in a national emergency whatever that <coughs> that is if it's clearing a road or railway that's been blown up they can do that and and these are the type of laws that always go into effect constantly of which how many people really pay attention mm. well no one <laughs> next to no one unless you eat breathe and swim in this stuff and it's your calling a lot of people are just standing back and they don't know what's been signed up for them they have no idea um, probably won't <clears throat> until and unless it, it actually happens. But um, this, I, d I don't understand any of this stuff. I could read the same sentence over and over and over and over and over. I, I just wouldn't get it. So, I mean, my programming is, ugh, I just don't understand any of it. But again, that's part of their plan. Yeah, absolutely. This is why you have, you know, all these uh, agreements that you have to sign that are 43 pages long to purchase a fridge. You know, it, it's just the way the system works. This one's on limitation of the use of appropriate funds to influence certain federal contracting and financial trans transactions. That That's, well, that, that really says, well, limitation on the use of appropriate. What's appropriate? Who, right. well, exactly. appropriated, actually, appropriated. So those are funds that have been given to, uh, to be used. So this is talking about how those funds are supposed to be used. Uh, federal funds, which, again, are all our taxes. Yeah, certain federal contracting. And this is all done again. So, you know, they keep it all. They keep the money in the loop. They This is how, you, again, you have people that make 120000 or $200,000 uh, salaries that end up with hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, you know, again, you, when you look at all this going on, uh, <laughs> it can't be confusing. So most people will just simply go where they vibe and if you are on the right side, you're going to look at this and just simply take her um, her viewpoint, which is it's a consolidation under the continuity of government. Um, in other words, you know, are they going to remove Biden? And who takes power if they do remove Biden? Well, it, it, you know, again, this this is something that is intentionally confusing. As, as this is what the law system is. It's an insider's club. It's made to be that way because, you know, again, who, who like the tax system with the IRS, it's so huge. Now, you know, when you get down to it, <clears throat> those in that insider club don't pay taxes. But, you know, the rest of us get screwed. And that's exactly how the system is constructed to act. This, uh, I thought we had to mention, Axial Volcano shows signs of uh, activity after years of being dormant. Guess where this is? Yes, Juan de Fuca Ridge. Uh-oh, hello. Cascadia, yeah. This is 300 miles west of Astoria, Oregon. And we were talking to a family member in Washington State that's talking about pumice uh, and talking about uh, absolute signs of volcanic activity that is ongoing. I mean, I think it's a good idea to really hear from those that are there, and, and that's what we did. So, 
I don't know, we'll just have to watch and, and see what happens um, when it comes to these things. And, you know, the vision that I had a while ago, putting a time frame on it is really, really tough. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. You know, could we have been off? I, I hope I hope there is just I hope it's just one huge nothing burger. I hope it continues to be a nothing burger. But from the time I had the vision up until June, July, you know, where is the uh, where is the placement of that pig? Like how much before and how much time after those visions? It's really curious. It's it's like astrology. It's like anything else. It's like you do the best you can and there's surrounding factors. But when I see this, it makes me think of that again. So, again, this is 300 miles west of Astoria, Oregon. It, the axial seamount has been undergoing a cyclical pr process of inflation and deflation since its last eruption in 2015, which has been closely monitored uh, using autonomous and cabled bottom pressure recorders. By March of 2024, the seamount was 90 to 95% reinflated to its pre eruption levels. And, you know, again, <clears throat> just be aware of, of the potential. The, the Cascadian zone is absolutely one that we need to look at the closest. I just love this as it's so true. They just changed the names of the company and its location. Yeah, Greek, Roman, United States, all the same thing. No real difference. You know, you could label it what you want to label it, but the reality is the control system has not changed. The real control system. And Bronze Giant, uh, they post a lot of good stuff. The real question is, why would you need, this guy's six foot two, why would you need a sarcophagus this big for somebody that is, you know, his size? You, you don't. You don't. How big is the being that went in that sarcophagus? Um, wow. I would think pretty big, pretty big, you know, certainly not, not average by any means. And, uh, what, what would you call this tiger? I mean, is this CGI or does he really sit this way? Wow. Are you getting ready to meet some Lyrans? Yikes. Yeah. I, it won't be long. It won't be long. I, I do think 2027, 2028, um, will have been introduced, uh, to some, some ETs by that point, I, I do. I think I, I would bet on that. I will too. As always, guys, look forward to your comments. Source blessed. Namaste. Namaste.